Welcome to the Living in Augusta, Georgia channel. I'm Gerilyn Delorentis with the Front Gate Group, and today we're going to be talking about why you should avoid moving to Augusta, Georgia unless you can handle these facts. We're going to get into it right now. Reason number one, brutal summers. Here the average temperature in the summer is about 93 degrees, but the humidity is about 91%, which makes it feel way hotter than it actually is. I know that a dry heat it, at 93 degrees probably feels like 80 and it's amazing but here with humidity 93 is pretty miserable you will absolutely be sweating the second that you're standing outside you want to make sure that you stay where it's nice and cold inside with lots of air conditioning um, so if you can't avoid if you can't handle the heat you're going to want to avoid moving to Augusta Georgia Welcome to the Living in Augusta channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about what it's like to eat, sleep, breathe, work, play, live in really everything about living in Augusta, Georgia. If you're not new here, welcome back friends. So I'm Gerilyn Del Rentis. I'm a local real estate agent and we get so many people looking to relocate here to Augusta, Georgia who are texting us, emailing us, giving us a call and we absolutely love it. So if you're considering making a move here, we would love to hear from you. Go ahead and shoot us a text to give us a call, send us an email, or skip all of that. And you can click on the calendar link below in the description to schedule a call with us so we can see what you like, what you dislike, and make sure that we can find an area that will fit your lifestyle here in Augusta. However you decide to reach out to us, we've got your back when moving to Augusta, Georgia. Reason number two, bugs. We have them. I know everyone has bugs, but we have special kinds of bugs like mm. palmetto bugs, which are really just mm. huge cockroaches that fly at your face and are really nasty. They love pine trees. They love pine straw. They like to hide and then use scare tactics to fly at you and scare the crap out of you. Um, I personally hate them. I would rather see snakes and spiders than see a palmetto bug. So that, freaks you out, then maybe you want to avoid moving to Augusta, Georgia. The other type of bugs we have, we have mosquitoes. So you definitely want to use bug spray. You're going to want to have a screened in porch if you want to enjoy the outdoors because the mosquitoes will eat you up. Um, and then termites. We have termites down here. Here it's not a matter of if you get termites, it's really when you get termites. So it's really important to keep a termite bond on your house where the pest control company comes out and checks bait stations periodically throughout the year to make sure that there are no termites in the area. If you do happen to have termites, they will come out, they'll do a treatment, make sure to kill everything, and repair, replace any damage that's been done. So really important, if bugs are not your thing, especially those kinds of bugs, then you might want to avoid moving to Augusta, Georgia. Reason number three, road construction. We have road construction happening all over the Augusta area and um, it can definitely be very frustrating. On a road called Blowing Walls Road, we've had construction going on for two years. It feels like it's never ending. I'm really hoping that in the next 10 years, maybe they'll be able to get their act together and finish it up. Um, I'm sure it won't be 10 years, but it just feels like they're taking forever. Well, feels is probably the wrong word, but it seems like they're taking forever. How, how about that? And we also have road construction over in Evans um, on Fury's Ferry Road. They're just starting to widen that road. And it feel, I, I'm pretty sure that they've gotten further along on the Fury's Ferry Road construction project that they just started um, versus the Flowing Wells project that's been in the works for two years now. So, um, you know, that's just how the county rolls. Then we have construction happening at the Grovetown exit, which can be horrific at I-20. A lot of times you'll see during rush hour traffic, there's traffic on the shoulder of the main highway to get off because of the road construction going on there. The wi they're widening the road also, and it is a pain um, to sit in traffic like that. So that 
is not awesome. The other place that they're doing construction, they're working on some construction in downtown Augusta. I think their plan eventually is to remove the parking that's in the middle and open that all up. So when they do that construction, it's gonna be a nightmare down there. So if you hate road construction, you might wanna avoid moving to Augusta, Georgia. Reason number four, alligators. We have alligators down here and they like to sunbathe on the side of the Savannah River and on the greenway sometimes and on occasionally occasionally on a golf course or two so that's completely freaky i don't like alligators they totally creep me out you will never catch me kayaking on the savannah river although lots of people do it i have friends that do it but too scary for me so you'll never catch me swimming in the savannah river nor will you ever catch me uh, kayaking because I would be the one that the kayak would flip and the alligator would chomp me because it was watching me from afar. I don't know. So if alligators freak you out, maybe this is not the right place for you. Reason number five is pollen slash allergies. If you don't have allergies when you move here after a little while, you probably will get allergies because we have a ton of pollen that comes in the spring and in the fall. In the spring, it's especially bad. It covers everything. We call it yellow snow. Um, you can see a little video clip of my car that is covered in pollen that has just been cleaned off the day before. And the next morning when I walked out to the car, that was the layer of pollen that I saw. Um, so it's pretty miserable. I know that I, my, I have allergies around my eyes during the pollen season. My eyes will get red and itchy and um, really dry. It's not fun. And my son has runny nose and is real sneezy, but that's just one of those things about living in Augusta. You're probably gonna have allergies because of just all the pollen that's in the air. So if you don't wanna have allergies and you don't like pollen, then this might not be the place for you. Reason number six, a lack of some stores that I really, really love and it's bumming me out. We don't have a Trader Joe's. We don't have a Whole, uh, Whole Foods. We don't, we used to have a Whole Foods and then they shut down. We don't have an Earth Fair. We used to have an Earth Fair and I loved shopping their bulk section. We don't have an Earth Fair anymore. And we don't have a world market. They have a world market in Columbia, South Carolina, and they have a Trader Joe's, I believe, in Columbia, South Carolina too. So you can take a 45 minute drive to go to Trader Joe's or world market if you really must, but I would really like to have one here in Augusta. So corporations, if you're listening to this video, which I doubt you are, we would love to have you here. Um, and honestly, a lack of malls. Like we do have a mall here, but it just over the last few years, stores have been going out of it. So there aren't a whole lot of awesome places to shop mall wise. Like there's a Macy's at the mall. Um, I think the Apple store is still at the mall. And there are a couple other um, anchor stores like Dillard's and um, the Barnes and Noble is over there. They have a few restaurants over there, but uh, I've lived in other places that have awesome multi-level malls that are amazing to shop at. Uh, we don't have that in Augusta. You'll have to drive to Atlanta um, or you can drive up to Charleston and go shop malls over there. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not cool that we don't have it, but it's cool that Charleston and Atlanta have it if you want to take a drive. And um, we do, we used to have another mall in South Augusta, but it shut down years and years and years ago and the owner never has never done anything with it. So it's literally just dilapidated and falling down. And it's really sad because it could have been really awesome so if you love shopping at malls and you don't want to have to drive somewhere else to go to the mall then maybe this isn't a good, good place for you to move reason number seven snakes um, you might want to avoid our area because we do have snakes here we have good snakes we have bad snakes we have copperheads and rattlesnakes and water moccasins and then we have good snakes like king snakes and garter snakes so um, I have personally had a snake at my house, not the current house that I live in. Actually, I think we have had a snake here too. I've never actually seen it. I've just seen like the skin, the shedding skin of it here at this house. But at my other house, it would actually sunbathe on our back deck and it was huge. I'm gonna have a picture of it that you'll see here. In my former videos, before I found that picture, I thought that I remembered this snake being black, but it actually wasn't a black snake. Um, but it freaked my brother out when he saw it and 
he is not a snake person at all. It didn't bother me. I was like, hey, it's eating the bad snakes, so I'm cool with it as long as it, you know, stays outside and doesn't try and come in my house. So um, if you're deathly afraid of snakes, maybe this isn't the place for you. And the final reason that you might want to avoid moving to Augusta, Georgia is because we do not have a pro sports team here. If you want to watch pro sports, you're going to have to drive to Atlanta to see the Atlanta Braves baseball or the Atlanta Falcons football or the Atlanta Hawks basketball teams. Um, so you're talking about a two hour drive if you want to see pro sports team. We do have uh, local green jackets at the SRP baseball park. They are not pro, but it is fun to go and watch. They just built a new stadium over in North Augusta. South Carolina which is right across the river um, they've got little restaurants around there some little local shops and um, it's a lot of fun to get season tickets and go hang out with your friends and watch a little baseball and have a beer um, some bold peanuts if you like bold peanuts I love bold peanuts when they're cooked right so um, we do have a little bit of sports just no pro sports team as you can see, there are a lot of reasons to avoid moving to Augusta, Georgia, but I have lived here since 1999 and I know the ins and outs of Augusta. So if you're considering a move here, go ahead and shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. I'd love to see where I can find a place for you in this area, depending on what your lifestyle is, what kind of things you love, what kind of things you hate. Um, I can pair you with the best place for you to live here in Augusta. If you don't want to text, email, or call, you can skip all of that. Go down to the calendar link in the description below. You can schedule a call with us. We'd love to help you figure out if, if Augusta is the right fit for you. We've got your back when moving to Augusta, Georgia.